uh, sa una, grabe ni ang ato ang public preaching sa gospel, public preaching. And uh, until now, naamang hiyapoy gahimo, gagagadungog ko, I think sa uh, sa itong merkado, nadunggan ako, na ga public preaching. So, salamat sa ginoo, nga padayon hiyapo na, ginahimo nga mga public preaching. And uh, uh, wala ka na nasayang nga trabaho because we know God is the one who, who saves. We do not know, nga galakaw-lakaw lang na draan tao, nakadungog siya sa public preaching ang nga evangelist. And then God worked in his heart. Giluwa sa ginoo. Those are the strategies. But uh, according to study in, in, in modern discipleship, there are three response to this great commission. There are three response to this great commission. And uh, tanawa na to din ni Karon. First is the command. The command which is the word go. Muna ang go, ang, ang command yun din ni Jesus Christ. main na command ni Jesus Christ go and then the scope of the gospel the scope kung asa man ta mo and uh, it says here that make disciples of all nations make disciples of all nations that is why we send missionaries to foreign missions because that is our job that is our our ministry to send missionaries to foreign Uh, foreign countries, Papua New Guinea, Thailand, Cambodia, Iraq, maybe. Bisagasa. Because that's the scope sa ato ang ministry. Dili lang na to. Limitahan ang ato ang ministry. So the scope is very wide of all nations. And uh, our duties, what is our duty? It's to make disciples. Make disciples and uh, baptizing them. Baptizing them in the name of of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and another duty is to teach to teach the Word of God which is the discipleship after the salvation of the believer after nga naluwas ang kana nga makasasala continue to teach the Word of God continue to teach them to observe all things that I have commanded you and uh, the presence the abiding presence of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. It says here in His promise to us, I am with you always, all the time. He is with us. Nga kung magwali ta sa pulong sa ginong odri sa Bible clubs, si Jesus Christ nagauban ka na to, nagaempower ka na to. Kung mga ito man ta magbisita sa mga Bible studies na to, magawali ka sa mga, magashare ka sa gospel sa imuhang mga workmates, mga friends ni mo, na ang presensya ni Jesus Christ always even until the end of the age so muna siya muna siya ang ang mga main points in this uh, verse nga to ang ibasa but uh, again according to the study in um, in in modern discipleship there are three response to the great commission modern nga mga strategies and uh, i believe dili po ni siya bago sa inyo ha Uh, kay baon na mo ani but uh, these are basic basic nga mga strategies na to which is first dere makita na to ni ang word nga go go therefore the command go which is the first response to the great commission is to build bridges build bridges and uh, according to uh, someone as as, as I said uh, He said that we are not called to construct walls to protect ourselves. We are called to build bridges to reach the lost. Kita nga mga believers, kita nga mga kristohanon, we are not commanded to uh, build walls. Na para lang sa itong kagalingon, exclusive lang sa mga kristohanon. Exclusive lang sa ito ang mga makonsider na to the same ang atong mindset, the same ang knowledge. But we are called to build bridges to reach the lost para i-reach out ang mga makasasala okay dili man kita nga mga nga mga kining unsa sa mga chinese di ba mga monks uh, sa cambodia ang mga buddhist nga gina isolate nila lang ang kagalingon gina isolate nila ang kagalingon pagapalayo sila sa kalibutan sa lust sa uh, craving sa sala gapalayo sila and uh, to the point nga dili sila pwede mag 
makikhalubilo sa mga tao. Okay? Masing na tendency nga makasala sila. That is why they isolate themselves from the world. But that is not the command of God. That is not what God wants for us believers because He has commanded us to go to them. Go, therefore. So when we say go, kita mismo, muaddo kanila. Dili kay kita ang maghulat diri sa simbahan para maabot sila. Dili kay kita ang mag mag uh, oh, maglingkod lang ta, huwat lang tag kinsay ihatod sa Ginoo dira. But we are commanded to go to them. Go. Mauna ang mga adto ta nang Bible clubs. Ah, uh, VBS na to, Balamban, Kawit, Kamotes. Because we are commanded to go. Because part of it, we are living uh, we, we, we are living out sa ito ang comfort zone. Naga, naga pagawas kita sa ito ang comfort zone. So we are to build bridges to reach the lost. And uh, the first strategy to connect to the lost is to make friends. Make friends. Make friends. Maybe sa mga mga neighbors, silingan nimo. Sa mga mga trabahan Ka, ka, kauban sa trabaho, classmates, um, close friends, circle of friends, tao nga mga katawahan niya na si mga palibot, make friends, make friends sila ha, eh, this, these are just basic, make friends, dili ka maghuna-huna nga, kristohanon ka, and sila kay tungod unbeliever, wala ginakuan mo, ang pagtanaw ni mo sila, makasasala na kayo, but to make friends, although dili man ka makig fellowship sila ha, Dili man ka mo participate sa ilahang ginahimo if if they are doing worldly things then that's the time nga dili ka mag participate sa ilaha di ka makig fellowship sa ilaha the basic is to make friends make friends kahibaw ba imo mga silingan nga kristohanon ka ibaw ba imo mga kaparintihan nga tumuluo ka ni Hesus Kristo make friends make friends to your neighbors, to your workmates, and uh, personally, this is also my struggle. This is my struggle nga lisod gayo, ha? Kaya nang murag, makakonect dayon ko sa mga tao. And uh, honestly, dira sa deka, ito ko kaila ba sila sa kuha nga pastor ko. So, mga gina. It's also a, a, a slap in my face to make friends. Now, wala lang sa Bible. Okay, usually mga tao maaluf da yun kung istoryahan ni mo Bible da yun. Nga, ay, kaya siya, na ay mga prejudice, mga prejudgment sila hang minds ba. So just make friends. And then if you establish a relationship, that's the time makakonek ka sila ha. Nga, i-share ni mo ang, ang gospel. And the second is accept them. Accept them. Not to condemn because they are sinners not to judge them by their works but to accept them remember they are non-believers they are sinners but Jesus showed us that you can accept somebody without approving their lifestyle you can accept somebody without approving their lifestyle no, I know it's hard maybe isa sa inyo ang pamilya kasi gigi hapogan membro sa inyo ang pamilya kasi gigi hapog pakasala and it's hard to accept it's hard to accept their lifestyle but uh, remember what uh, pastor parpa said in his sermon dito sa lapo-lapo be patient be patient to all men because there will be a time god will deal with those people there will be a time, perfect na time, na iya sa ginoo, plano sa ginoo. We don't have to dictate God kung kanus ang kana maluwas ang atao. We don't have to dictate God sa iyahan trabaho. Because God is sovereign. God is wise. He knows it. He knows the perfect time kung kanus ang niya idil ang kana nga kalag. So we have to accept them as a person without approving the sin they are involved in. And uh, ingon ni Kwan, Mahatma Gandhi, yan niya, uh, eh, eh, hate the sin and not the sinner. 
hate the sin and not the sinner. Okay, ang sala, wala man yun nato ni gina ko, naamon yun niya ang sala. Naagyo niya ang sala, but uh, uh, you have to hate the sin and, and, and still love that sinner. Because si Jesus Christ, gipakita yun na niya. Although we, we, we don't need to compromise. Because si Jesus Christ, gi katong gidatong uh, prostitute nga babae sa, sa iyaha ang tubangan para husgahan kay kana siya makasasala pero ingon ni Jesus Christ kung kinsa man sa inyo ang walay sala maoy una mulabay og bato ani pero na realize nila nga sila mismo makasasala until nilakaw na lang sila Because all of us are born as sinners we are born as sinners and uh, that is why Jesus loved and uh, tagaan yun niya gracia ang kininga makasasala wala man gina tolerate but we accept them we uh, we still love them because they love because Christ loves them and uh, uh, kining LGBTQ before sa una pang mga panahon they demand acceptance di ba? mga yun ilaha bisag acceptance lang unta acceptance lang sila kay siguro ka experience like bullying uh, experience like uh, mistreatment uh, because they are different so uh, para sila ka demand sila acceptance and karon nga orag gidawat na nahina yung dawat na sa uh, community uh, they demand privilege at least na ikuan sila ha, privilege uh, dili lang kay Morag community, part lang sila sa community. At least, para sila hanapos lang, gusto nila na i-part. And, uh, uh, tungod kay Morag na padayon, uh, maybe, na ay point that they demand dominance. Dominance. Nga gusto nila, mas malabaw sila. Gusto nila, ilang tingog ang pamatian. And, uh, Uh, recently sa nabata kita raman ako na sa KM, KMJS nga na ay mga group sa mga uh, LGBT nga naga kidnap og mga foreigners para pangwartahan nila uh, I don't know sa gyud ang kan wala kay na ako nabasa gyud tibuok so um, muna pangwartahan nila ginakidnap nila ang mga uh, foreigner so Uh, it's it's hard to accept because that's their lifestyle. It's hard to accept them because um, of of the sin. And uh, para sa ilaha very sensitive sila when it comes to the word of God, when it comes to Christianity. Okay? Kung istoryahan nato sila verse, masuko sila. Pero kung istoryas sila sila ang opinion, okay lang. So, uh, It's hard to accept them. It's hard to accept them, but uh, uh, we know. We just pray. Unsa yun ang ang leading sa ginoo, because we do not limit the grace of God. The grace of God, uh, grace is greater than our sins, di ba? So mo kana ang ingon dere. And uh, as another strategy to reach the lost is to be available. Be available. This is what I've uh, I've I've learned from my mentor. Nga grabe ang ihang koan. Time for not just sa mga kauban niya sa simbahan, but even sa ihang silingan. Nga ihang silingan, wala man kasimba silang church. Wala man dili niya pastor, but naging available siya to them you know, when at times when when the times of need natoy panahon niya nagagsakit ang ang bana siyang silingan sa ilahan nagpaduol nangayog tabang even nga midnight na to ayana so that is why we are encouraged that through this strategy we can uh, connect with them basic na strategy we can connect with them you know, when we are available And uh, the the great picture of this, uh, the best picture, aning uh, magamit nato is the picture of the good 
uh, Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. Nga katong the parable of the Good Samaritan nga gikulata siya, gikawatan siya, gihukasan pa siya. And uh, walang wala siya ha. Nagluya siya kailangan siya kanyang tabang. Tungod sa gihimo siya sa mga uh, tulisan. Karon ni Agi ang priest. Wala ra, gilabyan ra siya. Nakita siya nakita sa priest ang ihang kahimtang pero gipasagdaan ra siya. Gilabyan, wala may lay like, kaluoy. Og tabang nga giabot. Sunod ang Levite ni Abot. Wala gihapon. Wala gihapon siya ni tabang. Wala gihapon ni Agi uh, offer ni ihang kamot para man lang siguro matagaan niya something buligan niya tong tao. But the next person, the good Samaritan, nakita niya ni nga tao, kailangan gigtabang, gitabangan niya. Gidapan niya sa uh, lugar na makapahuway siya, gibayran pa to niya ang kuan. Even in siya ang kwarta. Gamit pa siya ang kwarta. Just to help those who are in need. Naghatag siya groom. Uh, maki, maging available siya magtabang sa uban nga nangailangan and uh, maybe one of your friends one of your neighbors mangayog tabang sa imuha to uh, ask for prayer ask for advice mangayog advice sa imuha sila hang marriage life and ikaw nga kristohanon you know what is good and what is right And uh, you have learned from the word of God para mas ma-maintain ang maayong relationship ninyo. Then you can advise. You can give an advice. And through that, you are making yourself available to those who are in need. And those are just basic strategy na magamit na to in reaching out the lost. Because making friends or building bridges is the act of going to the Great Commission. Go, go therefore, and uh, preach to them the gospel. And uh, that's what uh, it says in Mark 16:15. It says here, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned." So. Uh, Make friends. Make friends. Accept them. Be available in order for you to reach them out. This uh, lost people. And the second is, uh, it says here, Go therefore and make disciples. Make disciples. It's not just to build bridges, but of course the content of our message is about the Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel story of the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, uh, there are uh, three things nga maka strategy nga uh, unsa ani mo pag pag uh, storya sa ila ha sa story nimo uh, sa, sa sa gospel because you cannot uh, tell them directly about the Lord Jesus Christ maybe uh, first is you can you can share your life before you can share your life before Christ You can share your life before Christ. Maghatag ka sa mga mga, mga mag-share ka sa mga testimony nga ingani ka sa una. Ingani mo hang mga nahimo sa una but because of the grace, the love of Christ, gibago ikaw. You can share your life before Christ. But uh, there's a danger. There's a danger in, in in sharing your life with Christ because in 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 preaching the gospel, the content is all about Christ. The content is about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about our story. It's not about our testimony. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's a danger nga ingana mahitabo sa to ang imuhan lang hinuong kaugalingon ang imuhang mastorya dira. Na ingani ko sa una, ingani ko sa una. Ingani ko sa una. Mo na igiingon ni Paul sa iyang uh, in a, in chapter 3 that he was from the tribe of Benjamin stock of Israel he was a persecutor of the church when it comes 
to obeying the law. He was blameless. Wala siya'y bad record. When it comes to zeal, he was a persecutor of the church. So dagan siya mapahambog sa iyong kaugalingon. Nga kung unsa siya sa una, before siya naluwas, but wala to niya gi, gigunitan. Wala to niya gihimo nga mga, kung unsa man to, mga titulo niya, position niya sa una, unsa mga nahimo niya sa una, wala to niya ginakuptan para ipahambog kung unsa siya sa una. But he considered those things as loss for the sake of Christ. He considered those things as loss for the sake of Christ. Because uh, a tendency for tendency for us, we, we, we can boast about who we were before. And uh, uh, that's what happened to one of, of the pastors in Mindanao. Namurag to the point, makamurag makasulti na lang. Hindi naman ni gospel niya ginastorya. Tinikal naman hinao ni kay. Sa una, NPA daw siya. Wanted siya. Nagipusil pag daw siya sa ulo, pero nabuhi ra. Unbelievable ka ayaw. Ah. Kidnap siya, gidala siya sa atong, ah, sa atong lugar, sa Negros, then did siya na luwas. Karoon, paistoryahon sa kalungasan, di niya ma-explain mayo. So, murag magduda ka nga. Sa mani, sabtan magiging nimo ang kalungasan. Murag, gusto lang nimo nga maghatag lang kag nindot nga storya sa mga kagalingon para nindot sa paminahon para sa uban. So, uh, you can share your life but be careful that it's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, you can also share your life in Christ right now if you are a believer, if you are now saved, then you can share your life in Christ. You can emphasize areas in your life Nagibago sa ginoo. Sa una, makahurot kag uh, siguro duha ka pak sa sigarilyo. Pero karon giluwas ka sa ginoo. Wala na. Gigive up na to nimo because you know it's bad for your health. Sa una, kusog ka mag mag uh, sa tawag ani, gambling. But you know, it's 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 against sa ginoo. So you give up. Those are the areas na change sa Gino and you can share that to others. That uh, God's grace has no limit. He can save the worst sinner. Even si Paul, he was the worst sinner. Gibago siya sa Gino also. Uh, you can share your life, your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ to them. Your, your prayer life, you can share with them. Yeah. Uh, Although, kita tanan, naamon kita yung problema, di ba? Uh, non-believers and believers, we have the same problem. But naka-diferensya sa tua is we have a God. We have uh, different responses sa ito ang mga struggles, mga trials. Remember the two builders, di ba? They have the same problem. Pariho sila na agian o bagyo. Pero ang, naka, ang nakalahi lang ang ilahang foundation. Foundation nila. Ang katong na ay nakadungog o naminaw o gihimo nila ang pulong sa ginoo. They are like the builders who build their house on the rock. Ngaligon nilang pundasyon. Pero katong mga wala, nakadungog. Nakadungog tuod pero wala gihimo. Talapos raspikas dunggan. Mauka na sila ang mga builders nga naghimo sila ang balay sa balas. Na kumabot ang bagyo, waldas. Why mabilin? So, uh, you can share your life with Christ. How you deal with your problems. How you face your marriage life. Diba? Mga problema ni mo sa una. Through prayers. Dili na mada sa mga butilya. Or sa mga boteng usapan. Di madaa na. Kaya problema ragi hapon na. You can share your quiet time. Your... Uh, Bible reading and uh, even your spiritual maturity. You can share your spiritual maturity and uh, uh, is, is spiritual maturity is tested or is it is best measured by how much you love God and how you love others. How you live your life 
para sa Ginoo and how you treat others. That is the best measure of our spiritual maturity because we are now believers, we are now saved. Pwede na nimo masulti, ma-share ang mga gibago ni Hesus Kristo sa mga kinabuhi. That's what uh, in in 2 Corinthians 5:17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. Bago na, tungod kang Kristo. All things have passed away, even the sinful nature, the sinful habits. It it, it was crucified. Kauban kang Kristo, and all things have become new. Gibago tungod sa grasya ni Kristo. So you can share your life in Christ. So, that's how you can share the gospel. And maybe, uh, napasa to adri, sad, wala pod kasabot, unsa gid ang gospel. Unsa wala to na, to na pod ang uh, gospel. And uh, I will read here in uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15, verse 3, and this is the gospel. This is the gospel. It says here, For I delivered to you first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins. Died. He died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that, He was buried. Gilubong siya. Si Cristo. And that, He rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. So, maokin ni ang gospel na si Jesus Christ nagpakamatay sa itong mga sala, gilubong, ug nabanhaw. And then He promises that He will come again to take us in heaven, to live with Him eternally. That is the gospel. So, maybe, sa itong awad, akay baw, sa ano ako pag-share, Pastor? No, ako mismo, ako kay baw sa gospel. Ako kay baw sa unsay content na akong isulti. Isulti lang. Unsay gihimo ni Jesus Christ yung mga kinabuhi. This is the gospel that He died for your sins, for our sins. He was buried and He rose again on the third day. That is the gospel. And then, uh, uh, that's what it says here, go and make disciples of all nations. The scope is of all nations. And uh, in Acts 1.8, uh, it says in Acts 1.8, uh, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even unto the end of the earth. So we can see here the scope of of. of the gospel, in spreading the gospel. It's not just in Israel, in Judea, in Jerusalem, but in Samaria, and even unto the end of the earth. Tanan. Until yun nga, ma reach out na ang mga lugar, nga lisod pa i-reach out karon. So, make disciples of all nations. And uh, uh, that is to share the gospel. Now, the third one here is to build up others in Christ, which is baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and teaching them to observe all things. Baptizing them and teaching them. Build up others in Christ. So first is to build a relationship with your fellow believers. Build a relationship with your fellow believers. In, uh, in the Bible, there are, uh, I think, 59 or 60 is one another's in the Bible. Nagi command ni Paul. Gisugo ni Paul sa mga letters. Bear you one another's burden. Pray for one another. Encourage one another. Love one another. Daghan kayo ng mga one another. And that uh, emphasizes or that will result to a unity inside the church. That every fellow believer, every believer will have, will, will maintain a good relationship together sa iyang fellow nga believer. That's why we have to build up. How can you build up others if you don't have that relationship sa uban? Simba ka mo tuod sa usa ka church pero wala mo maayong relationship. So how can you build up others if there's a hindrance, there's kining babag sa inyo hang relasyon nga duha? How can you build others? That is why 
Paul explains how the church is to exercise our God-given gifts to build up one another in love. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 16, where it says that uh, God gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of service. These are the gifts of God. Na ay mga pastors, na ay mga teachers, evangelists, prophets, Maokini, mga apostles, nga regalo sa ginoo, sa church, nga kung gift ni mo, is ang pastor, mo na gihatag sa gift si mo ha, then you can be a shepherd sa church. And if your gift is teaching, then you are effective in, in, in teaching the Sunday school, teaching the, the, the kids in the Bible clubs. But if and, and if you are effective in uh, preaching the gospel, this is the gift of God, evangelists. Ang matingami sa una, nga naadri pastor, nga paspas siya maka-build of church, paspas siya maka-tigom of church. Very effective siya sa evangelism. Pero when it comes sa pag lahutay, sa simbahan, mga five years lang siguro siya, at minimum niya, magdukun na po siya ng lahing simbahan, dukun na po na siya, pero at least na asay na pundar. At kung maminaw kasi ah mawali, murag di jud kayo ingana kanang nindot jud kayo or nata yo sign nata standard ana. I know wala man ato gina gina maliit ang pulong sa Ginoo but I understand because the gift of that servant is evangelism. So sa other area niya sa ministry, he is effective. Or if if iyang iyang gift is teaching then effective siya ng area. So that is why these are the gifts of God. Kaya dili man pwede nga kuha na nato tanan. Pastor na ka, teacher pa ka, evangelist pa ka, na basig. Sayo ka mamatay nga pastor. <laughs> Di ka maabdag ko rin ta. <laughs> so, that is why God has given us gifts to equip the saints for the work of service. To build up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Man to a mature believers. So, mo kini ang isugo ni Paul to build, ni Jesus Christ, I mean, a relationship with your fellow believers, baptizing them. Those who are uh, new believers, new in their faith, teach them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And uh, gihimo kini ni Paul and Timothy. Nga gina-disciple niya si Timothy to become a pastor. To become a leader in the church. And we have discussed that, that last time. By leading by example. In order for you to gain the respect of every believer, you have to be a good example. In word, in conduct, in faith. In purity and love. Because you cannot demand respect. You cannot buy the respect that you want. You have to be an example. Makita sa imuha. Sa imuhang kinabuhi. So, build a relationship with fellow believers. And second is, develop a deeper relationship with God. This is discipleship. Develop, teaching them to observe all things. Develop a deeper relationship with God. Because the discipleship is, is leading someone to Christ. It is leading someone to Christ. Kita, or kamu, nga mga na ay mga gina-disciple, na aman asla mga gina-look up sa inyo ha, nga mga attitudes, mga actions ninyo. Maybe your mentor, gina-look up nimo ang iyahang pagka-humble, iyahang patience. And you follow that because he follows the Lord Jesus Christ. It is leading someone to Christ because a deeper relationship with God will uh, lead you to see how sinful you are. Makita ni mo mga areas sa mga kinabuhi asa nga kailangan i-change if you have that deeper relationship with God. Because if you, ha if you don't have a deeper relationship with God, it's easy for you to compromise. It's easy for you to tolerate the, 
the mo consider nimo minor minor sins but those are sins atubangan walay gamay og dako sala na sa atubangan gihapon sa Ginoo and you can see how sinful you are if you have a deeper relationship with God and on the other hand you can appreciate the grace of God if you see how sinful you are ma appreciate nimo kung unsa ka maka maka sa sala and uh, there's a pastor <laughs> nadunggan rasad na ko ni uh, niingon niya ang asawa nga langga kailangan na nato magkuan upgrade sa tong sakyanan kay guba guba naman niya tong sakyanan niingon sa pastor you know we deserve hell we deserve hell <laughs> so we deserve the worst so nakita niya nga di na nato niya kailangan kay dapat mas 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 deserving na ang kuan ang impierno but because of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ because of his love ma appreciate yun nimo ang maayo makita nimo kung unsa ka makakasala ma appreciate nimo ang maayo so that is discipleship leading someone to Christ maybe the deacons to the young leaders young professionals and then the young professionals will uh disciple the young teens the young people and then the young people will disciple the kids mga bata na to sa simbahan this is discipleship teaching them to observe all things that i have commanded you because god has promised jesus has promised to every one of us that he will be with us always even and to the end of the world Okay ni ang promise sa Ginoo okay na to. So maybe uh, this month last Sunday I encourage you to reach at least one soul. Each one reach one. At least one soul. And yeah, you don't know how to start. Di ka kay ba on saon. But the, the the first step you need to do is to pray. To pray. To pray. for your heart nagamiton ka sa Ginoo and to pray for the heart of that sinner nga magwork ang Ginoo si hang kasing-kasing pray for that person nga gusto na mo sharean sa pulong sa Ginoo and then someday when God calls us he will judge our works according to Ecclesiastes God will judge us The, the, the good and the bad that we do while we are here on earth and pao tanong ta sa ginoo someday pila ka kalag ang imuha na luwas I mean imuha na dala sa ginoo pila ka kalag imuha na dala sa ginoo so makatubag na ay naa di lord naa di nga naa di sa kalibutan sa una wajuko kay ba wana naa na, di ay ako ato simba simba lang ko kanang kada first sunday ganahan ko kay naamang ko ikon pagkaon na snacks Diba? So pangutan on ta sa Ginoo someday kung pila ka kalag ato ang na lead sa iya. I hope natay makatubag. And this is a challenge again to all of us to reach at least one soul. Let us pray. Our great God and loving heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight's message. Thank you Lord for the encouragement that uh, uh, we have to make disciples in our church and to reach the lost the unbelievers father praying that you were you will work in our hearts and uh i pray father that um we will be committed we will be challenged to uh preach the gospel to the lost in jesus name amen